My research team develops sensor technology. Our sensors will monitor the performance of structures as big as a bridge or as small as the human body. I'm Walid Musa. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering at the University of Alberta here. I supervise a group of researchers. We work on um, sensory technology using micro and nano features, trying to look for what we call stresses and strains on any structure. Could be an airplane structure, could be a bridge structure. If a bridge fails, people can die. Our sensors will monitor the stresses and strains of daily use and the wear and tear caused by the weather. The sensor powers itself by harvesting energy from the constant vibration and movements on the bridge. The sensor supplies a steady stream of wireless data. It's a 24-7 watchdog. We monitor critical systems, and this critical system could be a pipeline, an airplane, or a human body. A human body is a critical system. The success of a hip replacement is measured by the level of healing between the bone and the steel implant. Our sensors will provide data on the healing process. Doctors will now be able to forecast the life expectancy of this implant. When oil and gas pipelines fail, it can take hours or even days to find the location of the leak. We are proposing a solution to pinpoint leaks in pipelines. This smart scan reacts to the leaks and be able to pinpoint exactly where the leak is happening through thousands of kilometers of the pipeline. We are working to develop sensor technologies that will change people's lives. I have a picture on my door of a kid sitting, doing his homework in the middle of the street in Iraq. I show this to all my students and say, if this kid is so eager to do his homework in the middle of a situation like this, how about you? And I think they all take this as a good example of never give up.